Uh, this is a leg press machine. Again, you'll see various types. Uh, sometimes it might be you're, you're more angled on your back, pressing up, but the general principle stays the same as one would maintain with a squat uh, as with a leg press. Again, you want to keep in mind uh, when you're in position about shoulder width. Uh, in, the, in a leg press, you'd be starting back uh, on some machines, and typically your starting point, you don't want it to be uh, no more than a 90 degree bend. Uh, at the knee. Uh, and typically, I like to think of having the, when you're in the down position, the knee, again, should be have in some sort of good relationship with the feet. Uh, again, the knee should not be inside of the feet, and they should not be outside of the feet. The knee should make a nice square position. Uh, when you're getting ready to press, you want to think about pressing with your hips. Uh, and by, by doing that, if you, if you press through your heels, you're gonna be able to engage the hips more and you get a nice balance between the gluteal muscles, the hamstrings, and the quadriceps. So as you, as you press out, and as you reach the upper portion of the, the range, it's very important that you stop when, when you get to the top, you're not going into hyperextension. That can cause uh, tremendous damage to your knees. So you wanna stop when you're about one degree or zero degrees maximum. So when you're at the top, you're going to let, you, and you're going to, as you're going back down again, you're going to inhale, and as you come down, you'll feel that you want the weight to shift back onto your heels, and exhale out. As you get near the top, you're going to feel the weight will shift more into your midfoot. Again, not letting the knees hyperextend. You inhale with control, and exhale out, and pause. Inhale, pause. Very important, you're not doing jerky type movements. Uh, you want to do a slow controlled movements down in three or four seconds. Two, three, four, up in one or two. You don't want to throw the weight up and snap your knees straight. That can really cause some serious damage. So it's very important that you're able to maintain uh, control of the weight at all times.